Well, good day, friends. My name's Brad, if we haven't met. I hope you're doing well. Now, you might be uh, watching this as a part of Stanthorpe Presbyterian Church, uh, Rose City Presby, or Gundawini Presbyterian, or maybe somewhere else. Uh, wherever you are, I want to welcome you along to our series in the book of Daniel called Living in Exile. Now, this series in the Old Testament book of Daniel has been put together by uh, the three ministers from those churches, Peter, Dave, and myself. And so we want to welcome you along to this uh, journey together. I want you to be able to see the unique nature of this series, not just that we're trying to forge together a partnership between those trio of churches, but also the unique nature that here we are in the middle of COVID-19 and we're actually going to be partnering together uh, in a far different way than we envisioned. And so we're really excited as ministers about what God is up to during this time. Now, my task is to give you a bit of an intro into the book of Daniel to prime us for this journey we're about to undertake. So a couple of things for you to understand and know. Uh, the first one is the historical context. This book is set uh, about 600 years before Jesus walks the earth. And it's set not in Israel like lots of other books in the Bible. It's actually set in Babylon. Uh, it is the heartland of God's people's enemy. The book of Daniel is God's people playing the away game. And uh, it's said in Babylon because Jerusalem uh, was conquered by the Babylonians uh, and its punishment uh, upon God's people because they continued to have hearts that strayed away from God. And so that means that uh, God's people are scattered. They are living in exile. They're far from home. And so the other thing is not just the historical context, understand the emotional context. It is a dark time for God's people. Uh, I'm not sure if you know the psalm or maybe the Boney M song about God's people sitting down by the rivers of Babylon and weeping, hanging their harps in the trees because they're saying we don't have any more joyous songs to sing. That's the emotional backstory right now. God's people are wondering, where are you, God? What is going on? Is that something important for us to be able to realise? And that brings me to the second part. What's this book actually like? Uh, well, even though it's a book about God's people playing the away game, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, it's a very colourful book. It's, it's complex, sometimes comical. It is filled with lots and lots of vivid stories and vivid pictures. Chapters 1 to 6 are narrative or stories, we would say. Uh, it's a collection of stories, some of which you probably know. But in chapters 7 to 12, it does shift. It changes to something else that we would call apocalyptic writing. I'll uh, produce a video explaining that a little bit more later on. But you need to know this. Just, it's a book with two strategies going on, trying to get across the same message. Uh, it's a bit like, remember before Google Maps, someone asks you for directions and you set out telling them the directions. You talk about the journey, you explain the features and the contours of their journey to that particular place. But then partway through, you might change your tack, you get out a piece of paper and you draw a map for them. You start to use a picture. That's what's going on in uh, the book of Daniel. Yes, there are stories explaining what God's up to and then there is the, uh, the use of pictures to be able to explain that. And so that's the two halves. Don't be put off by that. Because thirdly, what is this book all about? What's the theme? Well, both parts of it are the same message that God is in charge despite the way things appear. It is story after story and picture after picture that God is at work and is in charge even when the worst seems to have happened. And so finally, uh, what does this have to do with us? Well, firstly, remember, we believe the Bible is all about Jesus. And so we're going to get some really great pictures of who Jesus is in the book of Daniel. We're going to see what sort of king he is and the way he's at work. But it's also really good for us to understand how we live wisely in this world. When it seems the world has the upper hand, what it means to be a disciple, a follower of Jesus during this time. And so we three ministers, uh, Peter, David and I want to invite you on this journey to come with us over the, nine, the next nine weeks to enjoy and unpack this book of Daniel. Why don't you be reading the book of Daniel, jotting down your questions as you do. Why don't you read the passage in preparation each week that we're going to be teaching on. 
And why don't you be praying as three churches that long to see God's kingdom arrive in our hearts, why don't you be praying for us that we would be attentive to what God's doing in us and through us, especially during this really unique season.